hackers. Will they hack your emails, phone camera, bank account? 50 million Facebook users' data taken over during a cyber attack? Online security breach is not a new term in recent years, as hackers can break into everything, from your Gmail account and your phone camera to election results. As the world is getting increasingly digital, everything becomes more accessible to hackers. So, as long as the internet is a thing, hackers are here to stay. But some of them outshine others by applying their skills in the most surprising ways. In this video, we will explore the most extreme hackers and their stories, which, we assure you, will make you rethink the idea of using the same password for several different accounts. So, before entering the digital underworld, press those subscribe and bell buttons so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Number 10. Kevin Paulson. As harmless as he looks, this is Kevin Paulson, one of the most notorious hackers in USA history. He, under the alias Dark Dante, raised some inferno back in his peak days. Paulson became notorious back in the 1990s after hacking telephone company computers in order to manipulate the phone lines leading to Los Angeles radio stations so he could be the winning caller in phone-in radio contests. Among the prizes that he got himself this way were $20,000 in cash and a Porsche 944 S2 Cabriolet. But it's the hacking into the Federal Investigation Database that really got him into trouble. He attracted the authorities' attention and had to go into hiding for 18 months, after which he got arrested and was sentenced to five years in prison. At the time, the longest U.S. sentencing for hacking. Number 9. George Hotz George Hotz, also known as GeoHot, started building his reputation as a serious hacker. He became the first reported person in history to be able to say this. This is the world's first unlocked iPhone. This event was so huge that George Hotz was contacted by a millionaire and given an offer that he simply couldn't refuse. To trade an unlocked iPhone for three new iPhones and a Nissan 350Z. At the time, to buy a new car like this, you must have had a spare $28,000 lying around. Or an unlocked iPhone. This was only the start for Hotz, because in the following years, he hacked the Sony PlayStation 3 and got in legal trouble for doing it. I'm getting sued by Sony! And in 2015, he picked yet another fight. This time, with the man himself, Elon Musk. Hotz was offered a position with the multi-million dollar business to develop autopilot software, but he declined. Instead, Hotz tried achieving this ambition himself. Number 8. Jonathan James Some 15-year-olds play Fortnite in their free time, while others hack into NASA and the Pentagon. Just because, why not? This was the case for Jonathan James who went under the name Comrade. He was the first juvenile in the USA to be sentenced for computer hacking back in 2000. James intruded on government systems and obtained the source code for the International Space Station. This means he got access to the software which was responsible for controlling the physical environment of the station. Once NASA detected the intrusion, they had to shut down their computers for three weeks in order to fix the system. Even though James didn't get away with it, one can say that he did them a favor because he revealed huge security flaws. As he explained it, they lack some serious computer security, and the hard part is learning it. You can't say that he's wrong, since he did all this by using only an old-school Pentium computer. Number 7. Kevin Mitnick from the way this guy looks, it's almost impolite to say that he's the most wanted computer criminal in United States history, as the US Department of Justice once called him. Kevin Mitnick's skills were visible from a very young age. At age 13, his entertainment was hacking into phone systems. 
Little did he know that some years later, he would receive a five-year prison sentence with eight months in a confinement cell. Law enforcement officers were so afraid of his hacking skills that during his trial, the judge was told that he could start a nuclear war by whistling into a payphone. Mitnick built such a reputation by breaking into the networks of companies like IBM, Nokia, and Motorola. But today, Mitnick is free and no longer feared by these companies. In fact, chances are they are now his clients because he reinvented himself by switching sides. He's also written several books about his wild online days. He is no longer a security-breaking intruder, but a white hat hacker who helps companies to solve their security issues. Number six, Xbox Underground. Gamers will understand, when the game's good, you just have to explore every map and every level of it and then hack into the systems of the company that developed the game, right? Well, that's what an international hacker group, the Xbox Underground, did. Not only did they intrude on systems of such companies as Activision, Valve, or Epic Games, they reportedly broke into Microsoft's network and stole secret credentials so they could physically walk into the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, USA. They got into this place and took three not yet released versions of the Xbox One console with them. As they themselves explained, they were driven by a strong curiosity. Number five, Gary McKinnon, a Scottish hacker who raised havoc under the name of Solo, will not be forgiven anytime soon by NASA. Working as a system administrator by day and a hacker at night, Solo was accused of hacking into 97 NASA computers in the early 2000s. Not only did he hack into them, he found and allegedly deleted critically important data and other files that were stored on these computers. Your security system is crap. I am Solo. I will continue to disrupt at the highest levels, was the message that the hacker left. Yet, once he was caught, he was accused of causing $700,000 worth of damage. But Gary McKinnon is famous not only for that. Allegedly, what he found in those computers consisted of top secret information about UFO cover-ups and similar government secrets. He managed to reveal all of these while hacking from his girlfriend's aunt's house. Number four, Higinio Ochoa. This is something other than what you might think. It's the signature of that Texan hacker, Higinio Ochoa, under the nickname of Wormer, would leave behind him in systems that he hacked into. Ironically, the same picture would eventually become his own downfall. Wormer and his hacker buddies formed a group called Cabin Crew. Together, they hacked into the police and other U.S. law enforcement agencies' online databases, where they gained access to secret information. One time, after hacking into a certain database and leaving behind the signature bikini picture, the FBI saw it as an opportunity to capture him. They tracked down the GPS coordinates from the very same bikini photo. It led to Warmer's girlfriend's house and it served as evidence against the hacker in his trial. Three years in prison was not enough to punish him. His parole agreement includes a prohibition for him from connecting to the internet. So that's how he lives today, offline. That must be rather bizarre because that still doesn't stop him from working as a programmer. Number three, Jan Chrysler, fingerprints, a feature that makes each one of us unique since even identical twins have different fingerprints. Yet, this German hacker, Jan Chrysler, also known as the Starbug, decided to prove that it's not that difficult to get a hold of someone else's fingerprints. And not just anyone else's, but the fingerprints of the German defense minister. He found some high-resolution photos online, which were enough for him to be able to successfully recreate her fingerprints. Not only that, in 2013, when the iPhone 5S was released, Starbug defeated Apple's thumbprint verification system within 24 hours of the release. 
Number 2. John Kane While most hackers can press their computer keyboards faster than Beethoven could play his piano, other hackers indeed play piano faster than they press their computer keyboards. One such was John Kane, a pianist, who, after having discovered a minor glitch in a video poker machine, the Game King, in Las Vegas, made sure not to miss the opportunity. Together with his friend Andre Nestor, they exploited this glitch and made half a million dollars. Also, they got into big legal trouble. All these guys did is simply push a sequence of buttons that they were legally entitled to push, their lawyer argued, and they won the case. Number 1. 7chan.org Hackers Obviously, hackers can be dangerous, but some of them can be literally dangerous, as they are able to inflict physical damage onto their victims. The first computer attack of this kind happened back in 2008, when a group of anonymous hackers hacked into the website of the Epilepsy Foundation of America, where they spammed the support forum with numerous flashing animated GIFs. Keeping in mind that people with epilepsy are very sensitive to bright imagery, this attack caused users to get a headache and even have seizures. The attack was planned on 7chan.org a website that is known to be a fortress for these kind of hackers. Even though all these hackers indeed sound menacing, it's important to remember that most of them have either been stopped or switched sides, meaning that they are applying their genius to track and stop other criminal activity. Therefore, as long as your password is more difficult than something like this, you should be fine. Like this video? Press those subscribe, notification, and like buttons to make it easier for us to make more videos for you in the near future, so we can continue fighting boredom together.